Hello, this is Daniel Place. My name is Daniel, and today we are going to be taking a look at a couple of shaders that should work perfectly fine and also look perfectly fine with the upcoming update called the Aquatic Update, also known as 1.13. So with the release of 1.13 coming closer and closer, possibly, I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at some shaders that should look perfectly fine now that it is a lot more attractive to go exploring underwater as well. Because before 1.13, underwater was kind of like a place you would never go because to catch fish and all that, you'd just throw out your your rod and you'd, you'd catch some fish, you know. So let's jump straight into it. We are starting this off with the first shader. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that we are already underwater. I made myself this little base that actually is already underwater. I mean, we could hop out the front door and we'd be in the ocean. So the first shader that we are going to be taking a look at is Zeus version 11.0. I think this is the not continued version of Zeus because there is a new version of Zeus available and it also looks really good and we might be taking a look at that one in a second as well, but I'm not going to spoil that. But this version is also really good because it has something pretty unique that the other shaders that I'm about to show you do not have. So. When we take a look at the ocean, imagine it already has this coral and and all the fish and 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 the puffer fish and all that and there's probably even going to be things like dolphins. We heard about that at Minecon, so they're not even in the snapshots yet, but we will be having dolphins anytime soon. So, just to uh, prepare you for that, to prepare you for the aquatic update 1.13 Let's take a look at the first shader that you should be using when you play Minecraft 1.13 and go explore underwater. So I'm about to open this door. There we go. There we go. We are actually already underwater. Now look at this. When we go underwater, everything gets so blurry and so, well, the opposite of clear so it, it's so obscure and that's where we just came from wow it's this is just so realistic because realistically you wouldn't be able to see underwater i mean just like in real life when you open your eyes underwater it kind of hurts in the first place but then um you can kind of distinguish some colors and you can distinguish the f the floor of the ocean or pool that you're swimming in but you cannot really see much because the water blurs your sight. And that is exactly what this shader does. So keep in mind Zeus version 11.0. It is available for Minecraft 1.12.2 and I expect it to work properly with Minecraft 1.13 as well. But if not, I'll be sure to let you know and I'll uh, bring an update video with 1.13 compatible shaders. And you can still distinguish that the sun should be somewhere over there, but you just cannot be sure about it because everything is so blurry and so not clear. So I'll enter the house again and, um, you know, just dry off a little bit so I can get to selecting the next shader. So the next shader is Silder's Vibrant. This is one of your favorite shaders. I'm talking about you guys watching this video because um, I've had a lot of comments with people saying that Silder's Vibrant is one of the best shaders, one of their favorite shaders. Even when I would do a review of other shaders where the intro had Zilder's Vibrant shaders enabled, so it actually didn't even have to do with the video, you said, oh, what's that shader? I want that shader, the one you used in the intro, not the other ones. So let's take a look at what Silder's Vibrant looks like underwater. And there's a squid trying to enter my base. Don't. Don't. Oh, I had to take it out. I'm so sorry. But look at this. This shader, Silder's Vibrant version 1.17, allows for a lot better visuals. Like, you can actual, actually see something underwater. Like, the actual render distance that you've set your Minecraft 
game, I guess, to render, you can actually see that, you see? So that is one thing that is actually pretty good, but on the other hand, um, it's less realistic, I guess, because you can see so much more underwater, which realistically wouldn't be possible. But on the other hand, I really like the underwater fog. This shader has a separate option to enable or disable um, fog underwater, and that's pretty good because, I mean, I would enable that for more realism, obviously. Now, one thing pretty much all of these shaders have is a pretty cool feature. I don't really know what to call it, but it's, well, it has to do with realism at least, because the deeper you dive into the water, the less, well, the less bright everything gets, I guess. I don't really know how to put it, but you'll probably understand it when I show you what happens when I, well, jump down a block or two every time. See, now we're down here, and our, well, our site is pretty darkened, I guess. So this is Silder's Vibrant version 1.17. Just let me know in the comments what you think of all of these shaders. Download links, of course, will be in the description. Let's move on to the next shader. So the next shader we are going to be taking a look at is CUDA Legacy. This is version 6.1, if I remember properly, and um, this is one of the most recent releases of the CUDA shaders. It's very, very up to date. So um, let's just take a look at how good this looks underwater. So let's open the door and get ready to explore. And that was not really intended, but it just sounded really good. So before we dive into the ocean, look at this. There's something wrong with this. You can, you can tell, but you know what? We'll just We'll just pretend we never saw this and we'll just jump straight into the water because once we're actually in the water, well, look at this already. But when I turn around, you're probably going to be blown away by the visual effects. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is, oh, this is next level realism. Look at the quality of the water and look at the quality of the sun reflections. On the bottom of the sea this is this is just crazy look at that it's so dark down here exactly what it should be you can barely see a thing this is almost like like realistic water underwater footage I mean of course Minecraft and the shapes of Minecraft like the blocks and all that I know that's far from realistic but look at this this is just oh man this is so good and you can even slightly see the sun through it, even though it's behind that cloud right now. See, there you go. There you go. You can kind of see it, but it doesn't really give off any light. Oh, this is so cool. So we have a sea lantern here, but we cannot see a single thing. So even with the Zeus one, the one I uh, show you first, we had this blur effect, but we could still see the bottom of the sea just as if it was very sharp. And it was actually very sharp. But this shader, no, no exceptions. Everything is blurred. Everything gets these amazing looking oh, sun reflections in the bottom of the sea. This is so good. This looks so good. And now the best part is probably also when you're about to dive into the sea. So first, when we um, swim upwards, we can see that everything gets a lot brighter. And here we are, sea level. But look at the visual effects when we are, um, well, here, not yet in the water. Look at that. Look at those sun reflections underwater. Look at the water itself. Oh, man. This makes me so happy. The fact that people can make these kind of things for something simple as Minecraft. Look at that, when we dive in, it just gets blurred, but we can still see these super cool effects. I just, I totally love this, as you may be able to tell. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is CUDA Legacy version 6.1. Keep that one in mind, a download link to this one will, of course, also be in the description. Now, I am personally really, really excited for the way these shaders are going to influence your experience 
in Minecraft 1.13 because we have no idea what the full release of 1.13 is going to be like yet. We've only seen snapshots, but snapshots contain features that the developers can decide to take out as well. Even if they've added them to one or two of the snapshots, they can still decide to take them out and not put them in the final version. So we actually do not really know for sure what the ocean biomes are going to look like in 1.13. But at least I am very, very excited. I already think that the update makes the oceans look so much more attractive to explore. I love the swimming mechanics. I love the way the vegetation underwater has been updated with the coral and the kelp and all of that good stuff. And of course the fish and the tropical fish. Wow. Imagine having that combined with the shaders we've just reviewed. I think they would make for like a, a completely new Minecraft experience. Leave a thumbs up if you actually agree with me on that and also think that 1.13 combined with these shaders is going to look completely amazing. Hit that thumbs down if you actually think this video sucked and you hate everything about live. Subscribe for more of these kind of videos and leave suggestions in the comments for what videos I should do next, what you thought of this video, which shader you liked best. I really like to know about that and um, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.